Greetings. Today I want to talk about being the family scapegoat. Now, for those who have witnessed this phenomena or are or have been the family scapegoat, I want to remind you that it's all right. All is well. So you may grow up or experience your journey not understanding what's happening. You may not understand that others around you will take out their frustrations upon you, although you are not the one who sparks the frustration. It's fine. It's not something to be uh, simply okay with and allow yourself to continue in that space, but it's okay. I say it's okay because once you are aware of what's happening, once you accept what is going on, then you have the power to change it. Now, you cannot change the actions of others. They may still be tempted or attempt to treat you as a scapegoat, take out their frustrations with their journey in life upon you. But once you are aware of what's happening, once you are aware of what these people are doing, you can allow yourself to change the way you interact with them if you choose to continue to interact with them. What I've seen of all my journey is more often than not, they don't even realize what they're doing. They're so headstrong or focused on dumping their emotional baggage, their turmoil, their pain onto somebody else that they don't have the awareness to step back and understand what they're doing, nor do they care. They simply have a feeling within them that they want to get rid of it, and they have a designated person or a designated circumstance or situation that they can visit or go into that they can dump all of that on. You don't have to be that. It doesn't matter how you choose to change this experience for yourself. As long as you're moving in a way that pushes you towards the area or space in life that you want to be in. We don't owe them anything. This can be parents. This can be partners. This can be friends. You'll begin to see that there are certain patterns or habits that they'll display that let you understand what you're dealing with. And once you see that you're dealing with issues that are not yours, you can breathe. You can give yourself a moment of peace because clarity has presented itself. More importantly, you realize that you don't even have to take it personal. If it's not you, it's going to be somebody else. It's okay. It's not because there's a weakness within you. No, there's a strength within you. These people, this person, this environment, they're, they're dealing with something that they're not able to either comprehend, acknowledge, or handle. And they dump it onto somebody else. Now, if you see that in different circumstances, there is a trend of you being the scapegoat, being the black sheep, being the one that's ostracized or pushed out, being the one that's ridiculed by the, the group or the collective around you, don't take it as a sign of weakness. No, understand that for you, you deal with your issues as they present themselves. But you're surrounded by those who do the opposite. When they're confronted with issues, they dump it onto somebody else. Okay. Treat them accordingly. See, for many years along my journey, I began to see their habit, that pattern, and I thought it was a sign of weakness. I took it as, man, if I'm allowing these problems, these issues to get to me, to make me feel down on myself, not only am I allowing other people's emotions and feelings to be my own, but I'm also making it a choice to take part in it. But when I step back, Gave myself my power back 
and realize it's not my issue. These relationships, these dynamics change. Now, some will attempt to hide. Some will attempt to manipulate you and act as if that was never the case. They will act as if they understand your approach. They understand why you have changed or they understand why you move, how you move. But all it takes is time. Over time, you will begin to see that nothing has changed within them. They want to find another chink in your armor. They want to find another way to stay within your vicinity so they can continue to dump on you, whether subtly or not. Okay. For some of these people, no contact is the key. For others, if you're not able to go no contact, just have to deal with them in limited capacity. Because hurt people hurt people. And even as a scapegoat, we have our own hurts. One thing I have seen commonly uh, as I've looked over this topic over the years is that those who are dealing with their own hurts, they question themselves from time to time to make sure that they're not dumping their hurts onto others. But when you're used to having a scapegoat around, that's the last thing you want to do. The last thing you want to do is take the pain that's hidden within and deal with it yourself. You want to dump it off on somebody. You want them to experience that so then you can feel free, so then you can feel light. But when you're operating in that kind of capacity, it has to catch up with you, whether you want to acknowledge it or not. So if you are the scapegoat, uh, if you are the black sheep, the, the one who has the courage to step up and be different, the one who empowers themselves by maneuvering in a way that gives them satisfaction on their journey. If you are that person in your family, your peer group, your workspace, know that it's okay. Know that by you making the choices that provide a, a more graceful and peaceful experience for yourself, that you are showing them what real power looks like. You don't have to be a superstar. You don't have to be the most popular. You don't have to be famous. You don't have to be the best. You don't it's not about any of that. It's a one-on-one -on -one thing. It's you and self. It's an inside job to find that peace, to give yourself that grace. And once you give yourself that grace, you'll realize that nobody outside of you can give it to you. They can remind you that it's there. They cannot give it to you. You got to make that choice. And by all means, if you know that what you have been doing hasn't been working, change it up. Change it up. You do not owe your parents. You do not owe your siblings. You do not owe your friends. You don't owe strangers. You don't owe anybody outside of you. You owe it to yourself to not have to deal with the issues of those around you. Now, sometimes if you do want to be supportive or helpful, you will be able to navigate your, your journey in a way that allows you to do that but in a way that does not compromise who you know yourself to be or who you have chosen to be. But when it comes to dealing with those who may gang up on you, dealing with those who have designated you as the whipping boy, if you will, the one who is going to receive all the effects of the causes that they have created in their life. Once you realize you could change that and you do change it, Nothing more gratifying. So don't let anybody keep you down. Don't let situations or environments keep you down. No, walk in your power. Go within, step within. Trust in who you are. And know that the choices of others do not define who you are. Till next time, be blessed.